fact, some of you might be able to recognize it already, but this is Miss A with Hush. Another one of these second-gen groups that, you know, I really need to go back and check out because um, a lot of their songs still get featured uh, even today on uh, some of these series that we've seen, like as I'm watching the Nizzy Project, the first season with the girls. And uh, even back in 16, uh, this, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that one of the groups did a version of this song. It's been a while since I've seen it, uh, and I had never heard the song or anything before I had watched 16, right? So that's kind of the only version that I've ever actually uh, heard, you know, or seen. And so I thought it would be cool just to check, you know, out something from Miss A, right? Because I haven't checked out anything from Miss A. So this will be another another first time hearing uh, a, a pretty awesome, uh, you know, and reputable group uh, from the second gen uh, JYPE. So let's check out Hush. Talk about a group of killers, man. Like, jeez. 
what like a, <laughs> oh my goodness dude the uh the visuals it, you know they it's a second gen this is from 2013 right and as i uh like i checked out the 2 p.m video and all this and one of the great things about going back and watching uh, and hearing like the second gen groups is that there's always this unmistakable you know uh, uh element that's kind of at the core of the sounds and you can hear like the influence and you can often sometimes even see the influence that second gen has had on third gen right and then of course third gen affects fourth gen and turn and all these things right um it's interesting because i don't know enough about the group is it they look more mature you know what i mean like how however uh like whatever their age actually was when they produced this right because obviously they were younger you know 10 years but right from from today but even even at this point like they they look very mature you know what i mean uh and i i remember on 16 like i'm i'm fairly certain that in the group that performed this it was nyan like i i man like i can see it you know what i mean like i like i remember that uh and and i can't want to say sana maybe uh like it's a it's quite a sultry kind of performance uh they they have a it's also very clean like like there's one thing about these JYP songs and stuff right I say from uh from the second gen it's like they're so uh the 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 sounds are so like good I, I, like it, it starts at a compositional level but all the way to the production and everything like the way these things are handled and the the overall song structures of the the instrument voicings and everything like it it's very good man it, like it's like it still sounds great today you know what i mean it, it, if you're trying to do something like this today if you, let's say you tried to make this song in 2023 as opposed to 2013 it would most likely have different you know sounds in the mix like i'm not sure they would go with this particular arrangement but they're great sounds you know like all the all the different parts in here and and the uh, uh it's very like it's a very minor you know the uh, the key is very minor uh the whole chord progression all throughout uh but the played instruments the guitar sounds that you hear i'm pretty sure that I, that I heard piano in there also all these wonderful played instruments that's what gives it so much like character you know um and they create a wonderful space for the vocals to to come in and actually uh, demonstrate, you know, the, the what their parts are, the the sort of delivery and the style and the actual rhythms and and melodic lines and things that they that are written. Uh, but it's it's quite like it's good, like, like it holds up so well. You know what I mean? It doesn't. It doesn't feel like necessarily it's dated or anything. And this, if any group today was like, you know what, let's say at a concert or something, I go to a concert, and some group just busts out a cover of Miss A, Hush. Uh, I think it would be awesome. You know, like you know what I mean. Like it would, it would be really good, right? Like, and people would be like people would get really hyped for it be it would be mad do people are going crazy like, why they did miss a like why but but it would be and it would be fun it would be really fun um and and much like um when twice was on con was uh on tour right for the concert the way that they had like the live band arrangement right for a lot of their songs that made it like really interesting it kind of gave it a new life kind of you know you could 
you could do that with songs like this. Like you, you, you could get a band together and you could do like, a, you know, a live band version of the arrangement of this. And I think it would be, well, it would be so cool. It would, it would be, it would be so, it would sound so good, man. It would sound so good, you know, uh, if incapable, in the hands of capable players, capable musicians, and everything that you know that can handle it, because again, there's a there's a lot of value in in the rhythm, right? There's a, I don't mean I'm not talking about duration like beat values. I mean there's a, the emphasis on it, like the the actual amount of uh, of the quality of these songs that is directly related to rhythm as opposed to pitch or harmony or you know things, but but rhythm is is so important and it's kind of especially in in these earlier songs it's kind of hidden in a way it kind of tricks you you know what i mean like it it it, it, it sounds one way but if you sit down to like do the counts or whatever it's like oh this does you know I, I don't remember it sounding this way but when you try to play it it's like no that that's it it can't it can't be any way else like that that chord change has to occur on that beat right in that minute, or else it's not the same right you, could, you can tell right away uh but the way these songs are done all together and the actual like final cut of these songs the final mix um it's very it's very clever it's a very clever use of uh, of rhythm and some of these other aspects right it's quite a video like there <laughs> they're 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 very they're very attractive but they're kind of intimidating you know what i mean like at the same time some sorry got the, all of them have like really really nice vocals the every all every single one every every like it was just so good to hear. like it, it sounded so good man throughout the entire song right from the beginning i love the percussion handling too like there's a little bit of reverb on the vocals it's really that's what's kind of giving you a sense of space in this most of the instrumentation is fairly clean like there's obviously a bit of eqing but they're not drenched in reverb or delay or anything like that like those are pretty much clean and in time and everything where you get your echo from is always in the vocal so that starts to establish like this sense of space but it's almost like they're a little bit separate from where the instrumentation is taking place as if they don't actually share the same space right the the vocal space is much bigger uh the instruments feel as if they're like much closer to you you know <laughs> it's a great piano sound dude like when when the piano chords come in they, they, oh my goodness dude, there's there's it, it's so good it's a fantastic chord progression it's so good and the piano is is panned right and then that guitar again a very percussive guitar playing right like this acoustic guitar sound uh and it's not it's all about rhythm and, and it leans more towards the, the percussive type of sound that the guitar makes. It's not about letting that, the chords ring out here. That's what the piano is doing. But it's a very cool thing that is going on between these two instruments as far as um, sort of painting the rhythm section here. Not in one hand. Kiss, 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 baby. Hush, 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 baby. Jump, Give it to me. 
the the harmonies oh man they kind of gave me like goosebumps a little bit dude it's just, uh their their harmonies you know it, it they're so like it's so tight man the and each voice is so so clean so distinct right but the way that they they uh, layer together as they're harmonizing around around these chords and everything is it's so good it like oh it's 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 an absolute just center of delight it's it, it's 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 incredible uh definitely you know part like it's partly the song too but you know their voices like their particular voices are really really gorgeous man they're really really beautiful voices and together they it's 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 wild dude it's, it sounds so good it's a bit haunting but at the same time it's also very like lush and soft and just the right amount of airiness right it's like it's not it's not too breathy it's not like soda voce there's there's definitely body in it but the the pitches that they're able to hit and the uh, it, like man it, it's so cool it's so cool The second verse, <laughs> it, it, it's it, oh man, the second verse is so good. Once that kick comes in, once 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 the drums come in, you know, and then you have the sort of there's a high that high pitched, it's almost like a flute, flute plug in or something that's going on. It, it, it sits very high and sort of to the left. In the, oh her her lines though, man, where is she? Her, oh man. This one is a killer right here, man. This, she's, she's so good. Man. I, oh. She's, they're all beautiful, but oh my goodness, look at, look at her. And her, her and her voice matches, you know what I mean? Like, it's, 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 it's insane. She's just incredible. wait on me. The, the bass in, in that little bridge section right there. Man, dude, it's, 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 it's like waves. It's, it, it, it's like just deep waves, man, of sound, but like water, you know, and, 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 and the, the vocals, you know, every, kind of gently up a little bit right like the dynamic is not wild or anything it's not like this this big sort of high note type of build up right but it's a nice floaty airy type of vocal delivery that's uh it's just, it's so rich just because it's of their voices like it's it's just them <laughs> it's just the the sound that they produce you know that it's so it's so good it's it's really like this the entire texture of this song is just is just so so good it it feels so good it's like everything about this feels good 
from top to bottom, it's incredible. Not one head. There's the highlight. It's a great sequence right here. Oh man, and, and and this is what I mean when like you see the the influence that second gen has right and and this is very, this is like it, it feels quite intimate you know what i mean that's what kind of gives it like this intimidating sort of feel or whatever they're very um like that uh, that energy you know that 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 the femininity the the uh like it's very it's very strong the delivery delivery is very strong. even though it seems like this it, it's a very measured you know type, controlled type of thing but it's it's incredibly like sultry and smoky and kind of mysterious right like it like it's a little bit it's a little bit um uh, like like they're sort of not not sh not showing their hand they're not they're not they're not showing like you like everything everything like there's a little bit of a demure uh, 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 quality to it but at the same time well, like what they are doing is it, it, quite effective at uh, expressing this concept uh, uh, delivering this type of feeling right and it's it's really cool it's really enjoyable man it's I, you, so you can see why like um on 16 you know they get to do like a, a version of this song. i can't remember i i don't man i gotta watch the series again because i don't remember what uh, how how the songs were chosen right like for the groups i remember them having a little bit more a little bit more of a choice you know like a, like as i'm watching the nizzy project right the, the season one they kind of get assigned a song at least you know they've been handed it like this is the song that, you, that you're going to do in this group right so they kind of have to adjust to that and i i can't remember but i i want to say in 16 they had a little bit more of a say you know like what are we going to do for this stage and perhaps they did it, it feels like they got uh maybe they're talking with some of the staff and some of the trainers and you know kind of decided on you know here's a couple think of a couple of songs you can do and which which one do you know do you think you want to go with kind of that's what it felt like and if that's the case and do you you can easily see like why <laughs> why they picked this one you know and especially for the the particular group that it was uh, uh and they did they did it very well that's what i mean that's what i mean any group you know could come out and and decide to do like a cover of this and it, it would be it would be really good man it'd be really good it, it'd be fun you and and you could do so much with a, a an arrangement as far as a band you know like if you wanted if you want to kind of change it up a little bit um add add a little you know a little bit more uh to it i guess uh, or you know a little bit of your own sound your, your own style your own sort of take on it uh it, it's definitely doable but it's a gorgeous song it like it 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 is it really is the chord progression is 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 phenomenal the uh, their voices the harmonies the harmonies were insane they, they were like so crazy um 
they all have uh, like really, really awesome, beautiful, gorgeous voices. And the fact that there's four of them, you know, you can do some really solid harmonies. You can do, you know, uh, uh, you got four parts. So you can du you can double the root or you can even add a seventh. You know, you, you like you can get uh, very interesting sounds depending on how you want to to do do the uh, the chords. Like, how, do you, if you want to throw in a seventh on a certain chord, because that can give it a can give it a whole lot of flavor, man. I like some of those high notes at the end, right? The when the chorus came up back around that last time. And you got so at the very at the very start of it, you know, that's when it jumps up and, and you get that high note, very a sustained high notes, lots of control, right? Like bringing it up and then a little bit of vibrato at the very end, you know, very strong with, with so much control over it. Uh, it was it was really good, man. This is this is really good. This is good. Like you can't you, you can't you know you can't deny it. You definitely can't say anything else about it. This was good, Miss A, with Hush. Yeah, it, it's yeah, it, it's it's undeniable. You know that I'm saying that the influence that the second generation has had for sure. That <laughs> that was incredible. That's that's that, that's a really really good song. It's, it's it's really good, and they're like they're they're just insanely good. You know, all uh, uh, all around on all levels, they're quite spectacular.